Hello everyone, I am Be Better Gamer and welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling, the channel dedicated to wrestling video games fueled by my love, passion, and obsession for them. I am playing Virtual Wrestling 2 and it's been a while, it's definitely been a while since I've been able to upload a call, which is what I'm bringing you today. I'm bringing you a call that I've been working on for a very long time and I'm excited to finally show it. It is none other than the Golden Star of New Japan, my pick to win this year's G1 Climax. I am bringing you Kota Ibushi. There he is, Kota Ibushi, as I just finished scrolling through all my other calls that you saw. Uh, if you wanna check those out, make sure you check the rest of the content on my channel. I have a playlist that collects all the Virtual Wrestling 2 calls I've done. I've also done WrestleMania 2000 calls and No Mercy calls, so check that out. Uh, I, I, I took a long time with Ibushi because there was a lot of things I was, you know, thinking about, but I wanted to do Ibushi since I did Omega recently. I figured, you know, the Golden Lovers are reunited. We have the Golden Elite now with Ibushi, Omega, and the Young Bucks. I figured I'd do Ibushi. He was always uh, requested for my channel. Um, one thing I do want to point out. Now, I've made wrestlers before with the hybrid wrestling style. It's the martial arts wrestling style. When you go into the... Uh, you know menu here for the for the wrestling style it's a second option you choose in the fighting style menu and the reason why I want to point that out I get a lot of questions when it comes to filling in the moves on my call spreadsheet where I have everything typed out people always say hey the moves don't line up and I think it's just because the people are forgetting to change the fighting style first so make sure you change the fighting style because as you can see all the grapples all the strong B grapples get replaced with striking moves so that changes the numbering of the um, spreadsheet and um, if you don't change that you know the last number that should come is 143 which is the fighting stand so if you don't change that the numbers will be off if you just keep trying to put the numbers as I have them in the spreadsheet just with regular um, wrestling fight fighting style so I just wanted to point that out here we go let's go to the appearance head 1 face 93 hair 12 hair 12 the hair is what took me the longest to really decide on uh, originally when I made Ibushi uh, I had this hair, the short hair, hair 3, which still works. I would say if you like the way hair 3 looks, go for it, do it. I think it still works. Um, you can, you know, and, and you know, Ibushi, he has, he has such beautiful hair, right? Let's, let's be honest, he has beautiful hair. <laughs> you could also do hair 6. Hair 6, I think, works fairly well. Maybe if you want to go for his younger days kind of look. Um, where his hair came a little bit more down to almost the top of his shoulders. But I went with the uh, hair 12 to give a little bit more of that volume that he usually has. Uh, actually, brown hair and, hair and front hair 66. For body type, I put one skinny one with the one skin tone. Uh, for his ring attire, A19, which are the tights we use for Masato Tanaka, 2 and 4, so basically white and blue. And then they have a little bit of the gold coloring that doesn't change, which is why I like these tights. Knee pad, I went with knee pad 1, and I made them white. For his kick pads, I actually went with B3 this time. Normally I go with the B1 kick pads, but I went with B3, and I put 4 and 2. You can alternate it if you want. You can put 2 and 4. He has had kick pads. Uh, where the front is blue you could use b2 if you want uh, but I went with b3 so there you go I was just showing you a few different styles you can go with with uh, Kotobushi here in this attire it's his gold attire basically everything is the same uh, with the exception of we just change it to gold dark gold as well which is 30 uh, for the gold color here I forgot to change the knee pads I'm gonna change that to gold 30 as well uh, and B3 once again for the kick pads we got 30 and 2 you know what I just realized while I'm going over this video again I left the wrist pads there uh, I mean the wristbands there so take off the wristbands for that second outfit I'll make sure to edit it in my um, Google Doc uh, my Google spreadsheet in the description below this is his uh, third attire which is his silver and blue attire basically all we do is change everything to silver uh, and the beat and the, the the kick pads we make silver and white you could also do silver and blue if you want that works perfectly fine um, you could even do silver and dark blue 
and then you would just have to change the ring attire to dark blue as well. Kotobushi, uh, he has a very simple outfit in real life, but usually the, the main colors you always see blended in are white, blue, gold, and silver. Those are usually the colors you see that he, he um, uses primarily. And then here I just made, basically made his entire boots white. Uh, and I went back to the B2 kick pads because I actually like how they look all white. I don't like how the B3 kick pads look when they're all white. And there you go. And here I think I actually do remember to take off the wrist bands as well, which I forgot to do in the second outfit. Uh, he, norm he Sometimes he wears wristbands, but it's, it's more often than not, he doesn't have the wristbands. And there you go, that's Koto Ibushi. Again, if you want the full call with the moves and the parameters and the fighting style all written out, you can find that in my description below. It's in a Google spreadsheet, so make sure you check the description. I have everything typed out for you. And we're gonna jump into a match right now. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Normally, I do one-on-one -on -one matches with the created wrestlers I make in this game and in the other Aki games. But I'm gonna do a tag team match because like I said the golden lovers are reunited and that's primarily been the main storyline one of the main storylines going on in New Japan right now is the reunion of Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi a fan favorite tag team from a few years back and you know they kind of went their own separate ways amicably it seemed but then when Kenny Omega joined the Bullet Club uh, things got a little weird between them <laughs> and now but now they're reunited and this year's G1 climax we're gonna see on the last day of the B block of Bushi against Omega like I said in the beginning my pick to win the G1 climax this year is Kota Ibushi will he do it let's see as I record this Kenny Omega is still leading in points still undefeated I just finished watching Ibushi take on Goto which was the finals of the New Japan Cup back in 2015, which Ibushi won. Uh, another excellent match. Ibushi and Omega have been having an astounding G1 this year, all building up to their reunion, their clash, uh, you know, at the, 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 not the finals of the G1, but probably the finals of the B block, right? I mean, that's the way I think it's gonna work out. And I did, I did kind of a fantasy match. I did kind of a fantasy match here, uh, Omega, and Ibushi against Ghetto and Jado. Uh, the reason why I went with Ghetto and Jado is because, you know, Omega and Ibushi, when they came to New Japan after coming from DDT, because that's where they originated from, that's where Ibushi got his start in wrestling, was in DDT, uh, sort of an indie promotion in Japan. Um, they feuded primarily with Apollo 55, and Apollo 55 was made up of Rasuki Taguchi and um, Prince Devitt, also known as Finn Balor. Um, and they feuded with them, and I noticed that Taguchi and Apollo 55 held the IWGP Junior Tag Team titles four times, which is the same amount of times as Ghetto and Jado. So I decided, well, since I don't have Taguchi and, and Devitt yet, you know, I haven't made them yet, maybe one day I'll get around to making them, I'll go ahead and do this, this matchup between two very popular tag teams in their day, especially in the Junior Heavyweight Division. I should also mention, if you're watching this, you know, you've probably noticed this is a Japanese wrestling game, but there's been some things in English, some of the menus are translated. I am playing on my N64 EverDrive using the Virtual Wrestling 2 translation patch. I made a video about that patch uh, for my channel, so if you want to click the little info button um, right here, right now, is when you can click it. I also should have probably stated originally when I was going through the calls in the beginning, uh, if you click the little info button at that time, you can check out my Kenny Omega call as well. Uh, and I also put a link in the description below to both videos. Uh, I also, I you know, like I said, also in the beginning, it's been a, it's been quite a while since I've been able to do a Virtual Wrestling 2 call. I'm a little bit behind on a lot of my projects for YouTube, I'm trying to catch up. Uh, but I've been streaming pretty consistently on Twitch. So if you want to go ahead and give me a follow on twitch.tv slash BeBetterGamer, I've been playing wrestling games Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings, Eastern Time. And then on Thursdays and Fridays is when I switch it up. I usually try to do co-op games with my friend uh, Ketum or my wife, Drunken Homemaker. So check me out on twitch.tv if you want to hear my thoughts on what's been going on in the G1 in full every Monday 
uh, since the G1 has been going on, I've been playing Virtual Wrestling 2. I've also been playing other wrestling games. Right now, we're currently playing Lucha Libre AAA, Heroes del Ring, Heroes del Ring, if you will, um, which was a donation goal, and I've been having a lot of fun playing that game. We're tr I've been getting a lot of questions also about Fire Pro Wrestling World, and I'm currently on my Twitch channel. That is our donation goal uh, for this month, so hopefully we can... Uh, reach the donation goal so I can play Fire Pro Wrestling World for you all at the end of the month. Kota Ibushi will be in that. Kenny Omega will be in that. Uh, you know, Fire Pro Wrestling World will have the official New Japan roster. But yeah, let me get back to the call a little bit. Let me get back to Kota Ibushi and why I'm so excited about this year's G1. If you're not familiar with Kota Ibushi's body of work in New Japan or even his body of work in DDT, I highly, highly recommend you seek it out. You know, obviously, New Japan World, you can watch pretty much all his classic matches. Uh, DDT, you probably have to do a little bit more legwork on YouTube, on Daily Motion, but they are out there. Highly recommend, you know, probably even watching his match with Kenny Omega back in 2012. I believe it was 2012, uh, where they faced off at the 15 year anniversary of DDT one of the most critically acclaimed matches that DDT ever put on and I think that's another reason why people are so excited to see them wrestle again because they had this excellent match over five years ago you know and and now they've both transformed to these amazing wrestlers I mean they were amazing back in the day like I said when they first came to New Japan and feuding with Apollo 55 their matches Ibushi was one of the big stars in the IW in the New Japan Junior Heavyweight Division having crazy good matches with guys like Ricochet and Prince Devitt and Taguchi and Kushida you know Ibushi was a standout he won the IW Junior Heavyweight Championship three times he won the Tag Team Junior Championship with Kenny Omega once um, you know, he won the Best of the Super Juniors tournament uh, in 2011. You know, he was a very highly decorated and very popular junior heavyweight. But in 2014, in late 2014, he transitioned to the heavyweight division in New Japan. And that's when he had his excellent, excellent match at the beginning of 2015 against Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania. <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom 9. A little Freudian slip right there. Wrestle Kingdom 9. Here we go. I'm doing the uh, Dragon Kanrana. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to do the Phoenix Splash. The Golden Splash. There we go. And I didn't think I would win. I thought Ghetto would come in here and save it. But he was a little too slow. And <laughs> we win the match there with the Phoenix Splash. I didn't really get a chance to show all the different high flying stuff I put in Ibushi's move set. Didn't really get to show off too much of the martial arts move set. And everything like that but trust me it's all in there his moonsault dive to the outside um, for his front special he does kind of like a last ride like a sit out last ride powerbomb and I gave him a sort of a variation of that in virtual wrestling 2 obviously they don't have the last ride we wouldn't get that until no mercy but it's still not even a sit out so I gave him something to compensate for that but yeah, I hope you all like my Kota Ibushi call. Again, this isn't my calls aren't like the perfect way to make them. I'm not saying this is how you have to make them. I'm saying this is how I made them. And I would love to see what changes you thought about or what your own interpretation of Ibushi in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 is. So here you go. Here's a few other videos you can watch if you want to check out the rest of my Virtual Wrestling 2 calls. Um, or if you want to even check out some of my older Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Let's Plays so you can learn more about the game. Once again, you can always find me on Twitch.tv at BeBetterGamer as well as Twitter, Instagram. And I have a Facebook page that I have not done anything with yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on a lot of things. <laughs> so I appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video. Once again, let me know in the comments section what you thought. Uh, and what other wrestlers you would like to see. I have a huge list of wrestlers I am working on for Virtual Wrestling 2, uh, WrestleMania 2000, WWF No Mercy. It's just trying to find the time to do them all. But once again, I thank you for watching and showing me your support. Make sure you catch me on Twitch sometime. All right, until next time, though, I am Be Better Gamer, so you know what to do. Keep watching all the wrestling. Thank you.